Hey everyone, welcome back to the programming fields. I am Umesh Rana and today we are going to take a closer look at one of the most exciting additions in Laravel 12, the brand new starter kits for React, Vue and Livewire. And if you are someone who spends time wiring up authentications, setting up UI components or configuring your front-end tools from scratch, this video is going to make your life a lot easier. In this video, we will cover what starter kits are, what is new in Laravel 12, how to install them and help you decide which one is best for you. Also, I will be doing separate deep dives on each starter kits. So make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss it. So here is the outline of the today's video. In this video, I will give you a complete breakdown of what starter kits are, how Laravel 12 has improved them how to install and run them and help you choose the right one based on your project. So let's talk about what are starter kits. If you have used Laravel Bridge or Jetstream before, you have already seen starter kits in action. They give you a fully functional authentication system, a basic UI and helpful tooling to kick start your Laravel projects. And instead of setting up auth routes, views, controllers, UI frameworks and build tools manually, Laravel now gives you everything ready to go in just a few commands. And the best thing is with Laravel 12, this experience get even better with full support for React, Vue and Livewire. And these are using modern tools like TypeScript, Vite and SandCN UI. Now we will talk about why use starter kits in Laravel. So starter kits are perfect for bootstrapping your projects quickly. They include authentication, a clean user interface and your choice of front-end framework so you can start building features instead of configurations. Now we will talk about what is new in Laravel 12's starter kits. Because you already know about starter kits, so what is the difference in Laravel 12 in comparison to the previous version's starter kits? First. There is a new artisan command that is php artisan frontend install. Along with this frontend install command, you can pass the frontend just like react, view or live wire stack. This lets you choose your preferred frontend stack right from the start. And all kits now include TypeScript support and use wheat for frontend building which gives you blazing fast development builds. They also come with SADCN UI, a beautiful modern UI library based on Tailwind CSS and yes, the components are fully customizable and production ready. For the React and Vue, Laravel now integrates Inertia.js version 2 which gives you a full single page application experience while still using Laravel routing and controllers. And in short, it is never been easier or faster to set up a Laravel project with a front-end of your choice. Next we will talk about which starter kit should you choose in your Laravel project. As we already discussed, Laravel provides starter kits from three different stacks like React, Vue and Livewire. So if you are coming from a React background or love front-end frameworks, go with React. But if you are comfortable with Vue, and want that same single page application experience with less complexity, you can choose Vue.js. But if you are more into rapid development with Laravel and you prefer Blade syntax and want to avoid writing a lot of JavaScript, Livewire is your best bet. But no matter which one you choose in your project, all kits are built on the same solid Laravel foundation, so you can always switch later. Now we will compare the three starter kits like React, Vue and Livewire so that it will be easier for you to choose in your Laravel project. So let's do a quick side by side comparison to help you decide which one fits your need. And let's break down the differences. React and Vue use Inertia.js to create single page application using Laravel routing. While Livewire sticks with Blade templates and PHP syntax and all three come with authentication and the same UI library. And if we we'll talk about the React kit, this is a perfect if you love JavaScript and want to build rich user interface applications or integrate with APIs. The Vue kit is ideal if you prefer a lighter learning 
curve but still want a modern single page application feeling and the liver starter kit is great for those who want to stay in laravel ecosystem and avoid too much javascript and still build interactive applications so in the react kit this supports jsx plus typescript as well and in the view this will support view 3 plus typescript but in the live wire kit this provides blade plus php syntax react usage react plus inertia same thing the view usage view plus inertia but live wire will use live wire framework and in the terms of ui all these starter kits use sad cn ui and every starter kits provides authentication setup and react kit is best for complex single page application but in the terms of view js this is ideally good for lightweight single page application with less complexity and if you want to go with the laravel ecosystem itself you can go with live wire kit i hope the differences are cleared for you so based on your requirement you can choose these starter kits now we will navigate to the official documentation of laravel and we will do a quick setup of laravel 12 application so let's navigate to the browser and here i have navigated to the laravel.com this is the official website of laravel this home page has been changed now after releasing of laravel 12 version here we have the documentation section let's navigate to this inside this we have the installation under the installation if you'll scroll down here we have the installation steps of PHP and Laravel installer. So in order to install Laravel 12 application, you need at least PHP 8.2 version that we have already discussed in our last video. Also you will need Laravel installer so that based on this you can directly install Laravel 12 application. And additionally, you must have Node.js or bun installed for the front end assets. And if you don't have the PHP and composer installed in your local machine, you can follow this command based on your operating systems this is for mac this is for windows and this is for linux next you will have to install laravel installer so this laravel installer will help creating laravel application so in order to check the laravel compatibility for creating the new application i will quickly jump to the terminal and here i'll just type php hyphen hyphen version i have the php 8.4 and also i will check composer version okay and for checking the laravel installer simply i'll just type laravel command in the terminal and here i have laravel installer 5.11 okay so i'm ready to install laravel 12 application because i have php composer and laravel installer setup so in order to proceed with the laravel 12 application I will just update my Laravel installer. Okay? So I will just type command as composer global update laravel slash installer. I am executing this command because I already have Laravel installer installed. In case in your system if it is not installed, you will have to install it using the composer global require laravel installer command. So I am proceeding with the update. i will hit enter and this is updating laravel installer so this has updated laravel installer from version 5.11 to version 5.14 again if i'll type laravel command and if i will hit enter i have laravel installer updated to 5.14 okay so again this is the latest one now i'm ready to create laravel 12 application So in order to start with Laravel 12 application you will have to run this command as laravel new so this laravel new will install the laravel application and you will have to provide the application name let's navigate to the terminal i will just type laravel new and next i will have to provide the application name so i will provide the application name as laravel 12 app i will hit enter and here this prompted which starter kit would you like to install so previously in laravel 11 it was asking starter kits like bridge jetstream okay and if you were choosing bridge then it was asking would you like with laravel or would you like to install with 
live wire same thing for the jet stream now this prompt has been changed and initially it is asking which stack would you like to install for the front end authentication okay so here it provided react view and live wire and if you don't want to go with any starter kit you can go with none option so as of now just for the quick demonstration i will select react and i'll hit enter now it asked which authentication provider do you prefer because in laravel 12 this supports two types of authentication provider just like laravel's built in authentication and work os the work os is another authentication provider and for that you will have to register and generate the client id and secret so regarding the work os i will make a separate video on that and as of now i'll just go with laravel's built in authentication so i'll just keep the default option and i'll hit enter now regarding the testing framework i will go with default paste and this has started creating laravel 12 application with the starter kits of react okay and this has executed the default migrations now it asked for the password and here the composer has been updated now it is installing paste okay and all the setups are done now regarding the front end it asked would you like to run npm installed and npm run build because we have chosen front end stack as react so this will need node modules for the front end dependencies so i will just go with yes and this will install the npm okay so this is done and this has bundled the front end assets and yes all the setups are done now we'll navigate to the project folder cd laravel 12 app and simply i'll open it in the vs code editor yes the project has been opened in the vs code editor now before discussing the directory structures and the component things i will just start the application so i'll be running this application using the wallets so i will just type wallet park command okay and in order to start the laravel 12 application we can run composer run dev command this will just run the npm and it will start the wait along with the laravel application so let's type composer run dev let's hit enter and yes we can see this has started wait server and this is our laravel application url okay using this wait and here this started the laravel server on 8000 port now we can navigate to the browser and in the new tab we can access localhost 8000 and here we have the brand new home page of laravel 12 here we have the authentication scaffolding using the react and we have the login and register option if we we'll navigate to the register here we have the register page and when we navigated to this register this page has not refreshed only this is navigated because this has used react js so all the properties from the reacts are used here similarly we have the login option if we we'll navigate to the login again this page is not refreshed okay now let's try to register a new user i will give the name email password i will confirm it and let's register it yes the user has been registered and here we are redirected on the dashboard page so now we can see the laravel 12 starter kit has been fully changed this dashboard design here we have totally different layouts in comparison to laravel 11 we have the top navigation bar also we have this sidebar here all right in the sidebar we have few nav links and also we have this profile sections added here at the bottom if you we'll click on this profile sections we have the profile picture logo displayed here along with this name and 
email. Also, we have the settings and logout option. If we'll click on settings, we have the profile settings in which we have the beautifully designed UI. Here we have the profile, password and appearance settings. In the appearance settings, we have the option to change the theme just like light, dark or system. So currently this has chosen the system theme and my system theme is dark. So let's try to change this to light. Now the entire theme of this application has been changed to light. Same thing, if we'll click on dark and yes, this has totally changed this theme to dark without refreshing this page. So the customization is very simple. Same thing, if we'll come to the password tab, from here we can change the password. In the profile settings, we can change the name, email and also we can delete this account. So this is very advanced feature added by Laravel 12 starter kits. In the dashboard, this is completely blank cards here. We can customize it. We have the sidebar collapsible. So if we'll click on this, this will collapse this. All right. And this is fully responsive for the mobile applications as well. If you we'll log out, Yes, we have logged out and if we try to log in again, from here we can log into the application and also we have this forward password link. If we we'll click on this forward password, we have another page as forward password and from here we can generate the password reset link. Let's navigate to the login page and here I'll just log into that registered account. Yes. I have logged in now and while login, we saw the progress bar. So this is the brand new starter kits provided by Laravel 12 and the same user interface we will be able to see in other starter kits just like with view and live wire. So this is just the beginning. In the next videos, I will be doing a deep dive into each starter kit and we will go step by step through installing, customizing and building with React view and live wire inside laravel 12 and also in the upcoming videos you will learn how to add your own components protect routes extend the authentication system and build real world features in laravel 12 applications so make sure you are subscribed and turn on notifications because you won't want to miss those videos so just for recap laravel 12's new starter kits give you everything you need to build modern web application faster whether you choose React, Vue or Livewire, the setup will take just a few minutes. So let me know in the comments which kit you are planning to use for your project or which one you want me to cover first in the next episode. And if you find helpful to this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon. And I'll see you soon in the next video. And thanks for watching. Take care and happy coding.